You know, ladies and gentlemen, there was a time once way back when, or at least it feels way back when, where actors were just actors. You know what I mean? They weren't activists. They weren't trying to push their ideology down your throat. They were simply just acting in their favorite roles that they love to play and favorite roles that you love to watch. But that seems like it's a time far, far away and it's no longer around anymore. But every once in a blue moon, you are going to get the time where you're going to get a nice little refresher of what it used to be like. And what am I talking about? Well, apparently Ian McKellen, a.k.a. Gandalf himself, explains recently that his job as an actor is not to presume to tell the audience what to think ever in anything that he does i mean it's something like you would think this is common sense right like you would think that this is something that uh people who are in the hollywood space would uh have this kind of mindset you know what i mean like you guys are professional pretenders you act for a living uh we really don't need to know about your politics we really don't need to know what you feel about pronouns we don't need to know what you feel about abortion we don't need to know what you feel about any of this stuff we just need you to shut up and act and do your roles and that's essentially what we need you to do but in today's modern hollywood uh of course everything is about activism so let's get into this article guys from bounding into comics but of course before we do just consider giving this video a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it and don't forget to like the video to push us out into the youtube algorithm so it says actor ian mckellen who played gandalf in peter jackson's the lord of the rings film trilogy shared that he would never presume to tell the audience what to think ever in anything that he does mckellen's comments came back in 2003 while promoting the lord of the rings and return of the king his comments were recently re-uploaded by jonathan watson and shared to his youtube channel the one ring McKellen was asked by the reporter, what is the one message that you would like the audiences to get? The one thing that will be the legacy of the Lord of the Rings movies. The Gandalf actor responded, I wouldn't presume to tell an audience what to think ever in anything I do. He continued, I'm not a politician. I'm not a proselytizer. I'm not a pamphleteer. I'm an actor. And I work on behalf of people who do the writing, who have the message. Well, see, here's the problem with that, right? So in today's modern day Hollywood, the message is delivered by the writers. That is 100% a thing. The actors of... of are of course on board with it they 100% give into that ideology but the problem is the writers right this is why nobody cares about the writer's strike when the writers went on strike everybody said okay I'll just keep watching YouTube until you guys get over yourself that's essentially what's been happening so even if he wanted to keep this mindset and say he's here to deliver the message of the writers even in today's modern day the message of the writers is the problem this is the problem we come into with every single TV show this is the problem we come into with every single movie now it's starting to get into video games you know the hot topic of this week was starfield and all the pronoun nonsense like this is what's happening in modern day entertainment and it's because of the writers it's because of these narcissistic writers that are putting themselves into whatever they write they self-insert themselves in everything it's just like velma just like rings of power all of it's the same all of it has the same idea behind it and that's to push modern day identity politics any chance that they get the message is always supreme over anything else so it says, from there, he explained his role as an actor. My job is not to tell the audience anything. It's just to explain the person I'm playing beyond the side of the character I'm playing. Good or bad, I don't judge character. McKellen then provided an example. When I played Richard III, I didn't say I'm going to tell the audience why they shouldn't like tyranny and dictators. I just got on with explaining why Richard III turned out to be the way he was. And the same with Gandalf. Do my best to impersonate them. But I can't anticipate the audience's reaction. Uh, McKellen's comments are in direct contrast to how actors promote their films today. One need only look at a number of the movies that came out this year, such as Barbie or Blue Beetle, or how Rachel Zegler is promoting Snow White. And two of those three movies completely bombed, by the way. Two of those three movies are complete box office flops, and that is because of the way they marketed their film and what they were trying to do with it. Barbie, Barbie is a one-off, right? Barbie is one of those names that is so big with the normies that there's no way in hell that movie was going to fail. At the very worst, it was going to break even, but everybody pretty much saw that it was going to make a profit, some kind of a profit. How much? We all, we honestly, I didn't think it was going to make as much money as it did, but it did make money and we all knew that was going to happen. But movies like Blue Beetle, movies like Snow White, even though Snow White has such a big name, Snow White also has this standard that was set by the original animation that Rachel Zegler is doing everything in her power to absolutely destroy like she's trying to actually destroy everything from the original snow white she doesn't want her version of snow white to be anything like the original and i mean listen that's pretty easily done considering what disney's doing with the modern day snow white they're not even using dwarves they're using tall people with the exception of one person who is a dwarf just to say they have one so again the contrast is amazing and it goes to show where hollywood was prior to where it is now so it says actors uh 
So it says actress Kate McKinnon explained to Fandango ahead of the film's release that the script was about how like gender roles deny people half the humanity and how like we need to just be ourselves. And it's a, like a very powerful message. Actor Simu Liu told Screen Rant, I'm so glad that this movie exists because I think it puts the final nail in the coffin of that very heteronormative idea of what gender is and what it is or is not gendered. How can you make a color gender, you know? And see, that's the problem right here. All of these people who are part of the movie talking about everything else other than the fucking movie, right? Like, talk about the movie. Why are you talking about your politics? Why are you talking about gender conformity? Why are you talking about any of this nonsense when you're talking about a Barbie movie? This should be one of the most simplest things to market, and yet you want to talk about identity politics. But you know what? I got to be real with you guys. I got to be real with you guys. I can see why they did that, right? With Barbie, what is Barbie? Barbie is a predominantly feminine movie, right? Like most of the people who went to go see this movie was women and the men who went to go see the movie was either dragged by their wife or girlfriend or was dragged by some girl that they're trying to sleep with. So they decided if they went to go see Barbie, they might get lucky. You know what I'm saying? So no guy, most men, unless they're gay probably, is not going to want to go see Barbie just to go see Barbie. That might be few and far between. There are some men that are out there that probably did, but most wouldn't. Let's just be real. The numbers don't support that idea. So because most women tend to vote in a particular direction, that of which I will not name Democrats still at the end of the day they know their client base and they know their client base is woke as shit so of course they're going to push all this identity politics stuff of course they're going to push all this nonsense about gender ident identity and gender conformity and all this stuff they're going to push it because they know that their audience is actively people who partake in that stuff either they're actually in it or they virtue signal to it so they knew their audience and I will give them credit to that that they actually knew their audiences they make it any less annoying to see them promote a barbie movie with identity politics absolutely not but it did make sense for barbie why blue beetle was doing it i have no freaking idea that was the most stupid thing ever and that's why that movie is actually doing worse than shazam fury of the gods i made a video about that if you guys if you guys missed it go check it out on the channel that movie is in line to be the worst movie ever released by dc yes it's even worse than shazam Theory of the Gods by 30 some odd million dollars at the time of the recording of that video. It was absolutely insane and i don't know if it's ever gonna pull past fury of the gods but that's besides the point they know what they're doing when it comes to identity politics they are pushing it in everything you guys already know that the topics are getting hotter and hotter as time goes on and i'm very interested to see what's going to happen once this strike is actually over so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out